Ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode on Super Negotiator. Today I will be speaking about how a mediocre procurement setup can be identified. Or you can ask questions to yourself whether you have a mediocre procurement setup or not. On a positive side, if you are an ambitious procurement center of excellence manager and you're looking to fix things, this video is for you. So let's get started. The first one is being okay with mediocre tools and setups. And this is a big problem. Today, you would see a lot of conferences, a lot of startups that are raising millions of dollars in funding and are dazzling CPOs with their shiny UI dashboards, with their high velocity sales pitches. But when you look at under the hood, what exactly is going on? And this, you should do it for yourself as well. If you're still solving problems which are backdated in 2000 or 2010, such as using reverse auctions for your resourcing, such as inputting standard manual data on a pretty dashboard just for visualization, then you have an age old mediocre setup and you should not be okay with this. Even more, if you are buying a tool today and it fits into either of one, using reverse auction for an e-sourcing setup or that new provider is just asking you to input data manually so that it can be filtered down via a report or a dashboard, say no, it's mediocre. All right. But if you are already in the digital procurement suite, you can ask two questions to really assess your maturity today. And I will try to keep it simple. The first question that you can answer or ask your team to come back is the sourcing strategy. Using the e-sourcing data that you have from the last five years or 10 years, are you able to create a sourcing strategy? And I'm not asking about the static PowerPoints that your team might be working on or the static visuals that you will be extracting again manually just to fit in the right format. No, I'm asking your tools, your setup of digitization to churn out a specific sourcing strategy for you. For instance, is your tool able to tell you a demand forecasting based upon your purchasing patterns of the last three or four years? Is your tool able to identify the strength and weaknesses of your vendors? And again, I'm not talking about port of five forces theoretical analysis. I'm asking your tool to give me point blank specific references. For example, can the tool tell me what's the best time to negotiate considering the price fluctuations in the market, considering the vendor quarterly closes, what's the best period to time my RFP? Now, these are some of the things that already exists in your data, be it be e-sourcing, be it be spend analysis, and it's not the procurement category manager's job to extract this and transform it into a presentable format. It's 2022, you need actionable insights, and I'm sorry if you are a CPO settling for a mediocre procurement setup, it is your fault to start with. So next time, whenever you're asking a new e-sourcing tool or spend analysis tool, be aggressive in your demand. Put the KPI of asking for an automatic sourcing strategy document that can be uploaded on the system and then it can be tracked step by step automatically. This is how you become a front runner. Moving on to the second aspect, which is the focus of your digitization program. And this is a really key one. CPOs are very dazzled by simplified version of the presentation, right? But I want you to focus on what is the focus of your digitization program. You see most of the e-sourcing providers today, okay? No matter how much venture funding they are able to get, they're still solving age old problems that we spoke in point number one. 
they are very successful in the indirect procurement space that's why you see catalog purchasing that's why you see reverse auctions being pitched to you but if you ask any category manager is he able to benefit in the direct sourcing in the strategic sourcing using your digital procurement suite the answer would be no that's why your 70% or 80% of strategic sourcing spend is still not digitized so stop bothering about 20% indirect digitization you should rather automate it and i will speak about that point later in this video i hope you get the idea here are the four questions that you can ask to really judge how much time you are wasting focusing on 20% digitization the first question that you ask is like we discussed is your digitization largely focused on indirect procurement the second question is your procurement style for direct procurement has not changed it is still largely driven by manual reconciliation of specification manual bidding tender documents although via e sourcing system but later they are downloaded so that people can analyze them manually third your spend analysis solution again it makes me so so furious why spend analysis providers are clueless about their procurement demands but your spend analysis solution is limited to data visualization only and the fourth your contract management system it's just a digital repository even worse it's it's like google drive which spits out when the contract is expiring it does not track your slas it doesn't give you a penalty clause or the amount according to the contract clauses which is defined it does zero performance tracking and measurement so if you can answer these four questions today you will get a sense of are you really digitizing or you have a mediocre procurement setup